Hey folks, it's Ruben. Look, I've been watching some videos on YouTube and um, a lot on preserving food. I've seen some folks that uh, they just had tons, bags, 50 pound bags of flour. And I was just wondering, since flour is just doesn't really last a long time unless you mylar bag it. If um, if folks have actually taken some of that flour and gone out to a campfire and actually made bread with that. So I was thinking about all these five-gallon mylar bags and how people preserve those in buckets. Uh, five gallon buckets and when you open those buckets and then take the mylar bag out and cut it open if this was a SHTF situation how do you reseal that if you have no electricity and you have no gas so I wanted to talk about preserving food and not only storing what you need, but knowing how to use it. If you've never gone out and made a campfire and made your own bread, you really need to learn that skill set. Because eating SpaghettiOs, ramen noodles, and MREs every day is not the way to go. So, get yourself a Dutch oven. Put it on top of your fire that you have outside and learn how to make some bread, learn how to make some biscuits, learn how to make chili, learn how to cook. Now, I was at uh, the flea market or uh, and the farmer's market because we had a bad crop of tomatoes this year. Blight was rampant everywhere. So we had to salvage what we could early and let all of the green tomatoes start to turn naturally after they were picked. To make sure we preserved all that, we started canning. And not only canning, but then we started dehydrating, which is imperative if you're looking for long term. You cannot have crops go to waste. When you pick it, you need to preserve it. What you're not going to eat that summer, you have to put away for the winter. Now, in the winter, prices go sky high in the grocery stores. They go sky high for a reason. And then, when you're getting these vegetables and tomatoes, zucchini, from the supermarkets, not only do they taste terrible, but you really have to be careful with the prices and I'm not a rich person so what we do is we can and we dehydrate we dehydrate everything that we can grow from garlic to onions to tomatoes to zucchini we want to make sure that we have plenty that's going to last us not only through the winter but if we run across hard times so we get our zucchini chips after we dehydrate them, our peppers, we make sure we can them. Not only that, but we make different type of dehydrated zucchini, such as zucchini noodles. We make sure that we have plenty for the entire winter because in the winter, that's when we're eating soup. When we put those in baggies, we let them cool down, and then once they're cooled down and aired out, we actually test them and make some meals with them so that we know what we have is good. What are you going to do if the electricity goes out and you have no gas? Make some bread outside. 